Hi, Kavita. Hello. So you're reading Cosmo of Oz? Yeah. It's the third book in the series, right? Yeah. So what's happened until now? Please tell us. So, at the very start, the, um, Uncle Henry was tired of taking care of the farm, so he had to go and... Hired? Tired taking care of the farm, so he had to go on a vacation. He had to go on a vacation. Uncle Henry was tired of taking care of the farm, so he had to go on a vacation. And Aunt Hen and, and had to take care of the farm. And Dorothy wanted to go with Uncle Henry. But there was a big, and they went on a cruise. So they went and there was a big storm on the cruise, on the ocean, but the captain said that there's nothing to worry about because he's been in many storms before and he can take care of it and he'll get them to their destination safely. So he told everybody to go in a room because if they were on the deck they would get blown off the boat. So everyone went in the room and it was really dark in the room so it was hard to see stuff and Dorothy was not scared but everyone was um, scared and the children were screaming and crying but Dorothy was not scared because of all the adventures she had in Oz and all the stuff that happened to her with the Wicked Witch and stuff. So she fell asleep and when she woke up, she noticed that Uncle Henry was not there. And she got scared that he went out on the deck and he could have got blown off the boat. But what she didn't know was that he just went to his room because he didn't like to be in that room full of people and screaming and stuff. He just went to his room to relax alone. So she went on the deck and she saw a figure which she thought was Uncle Henry. So she shouted as hard as she could call for Uncle Henry, but even if it wasn't, he couldn't hear because she could barely even hear herself because of all the noise. So she moved towards that figure, but then the boat started moving and she was holding onto the railing really hard, and then she held onto a chicken coop, and the chicken coop went off of the boat and she was still on the chicken coop. What is a chicken coop doing on a cruise? It wasn't really a cruise, it was a boat. But a big boat, which had a deck. Like a shipment boat, kind of. Okay. I think, I don't know. So she held on to the chicken coop, and then the chicken coop went off of the boat while she was holding on to it, and she was still on it when it went off of the boat. And she could see all of the chickens in the ocean and they looked so suffering and so she felt so sad for them but she knew if she went off of the boat to help them she would have drowned because of the waves yeah. so um eventually the waves eased and it became nighttime so she had to sleep and her clothes got super super drenched and wet and then when she woke up in the morning, it was super beautiful. There was a waves, the rain, and the wind, and it was like smooth waters. And she noticed that in the corner of the chicken coop was another, was one last chicken. And when she asked the chicken, what are you doing here? To her surprise, it actually responded. And then she thought, Wow. And then she thought, I can't be in the land of Oz. The land of Oz is surrounded by deserts. There aren't any oceans there. But then, how is this chicken talking? Then she asked the chicken, How are you talking? Have you been talking your whole life? Why are you in the chicken coop if you're a talking chicken? And then the chicken said to her, That I only started talking right now when you asked me the question. You expected me to not answer? <laughs> right. And then 
she asked, okay, and then she asked, what's your name? And then she, and she was actually laying her morning egg, and she said that my name is Bill. And then Dorothy said, why, that's a male name, and you're a female chicken. And then the chicken said to her that, well, that's what the owners at the farm always called me, so that's the name I have. And then Dorothy said, well, can I give you a girl name? And the chicken said, I don't really care what name you give me, as long as I know that you're calling me by some name, because I'm a chicken. So Dorothy called the chicken Billyanna. And then eventually they saw land. And then when they got up on the land, they noticed that they were, And then Billyanna started pecking on the sand. And Dorothy said, why are you doing that? And then Billyanna said, because I'm looking for food, bugs, and worms, and anything to eat. And then Dorothy said, well, that's awfully disgusting. And then Billyanna said, well, I'm a chicken. That's what I eat. And then she hurt her beak really hard, and she said, I just hit metal. And then Dorothy said, well, that must be wood. And the chicken said that I know the difference between wood and metal. So then Dorothy digged in the sand, and she found a large golden key. And she put the golden key in her pocket. And as they started walking, they saw written in the sand, beware of the wheelers. And as they kept on walking, they saw the most strangest creature ever. It was like a stick, but it had two wheels underneath it, and it could roll, and it was in the most beautiful, colorful suit ever. And it started racing towards them, and it had an entire pack behind it. So they started running, and they eventually climbed up a mountain, and when they looked behind, they saw that the wheelers couldn't run after them anymore because they couldn't climb up the rough mountain. So, on the top of the mountain, they saw a box-shaped rock, and it had a keyhole in it. So then, Biliana said, well, that golden key you found must fit in the keyhole. And when she opened it, she saw something that almost frightened her, but it was about the size of her body. It was a metal, machinery man and its eyes were closed and on it was written by the manufacturers of Smith and Tinker and it said instructions instructions on how to make it work and they made it work and then the machinery man told them told Dorothy and Juliana it wasn't the Tin Woodman by the way the machinery man told the Dorothy and Juliana how he got in this mess and what the wheelers are and how harmless they are so, yeah, and then the wheelers helped them to get to Princess Land Reacher. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Part. Okay, for now, that's all I can say because we're running out of video time. And I'll meet you in part two to tell you the rest.